in terms of winning this game was the fact that MRM pushed bot lane early and then did all this of effective ganging and taking off heroes one by one against BP instead of BP taking on MYM as a team like they should have been doing. That was the major turning point in this game. But other than that, what can we say were the serious issues in terms of in terms of BP losing this game? We're going to see Bounty Hunter picking up the Aegis of the Immortal. Uh, we're seeing an ulti going on by Crystal Man who just gets two-headed down there. Um, Bounty Hunter getting picked off. We're going to see Vengeful Spirit killing um, the, the Visage. We see Baby Knight running around like a madman, trying to hit down people. Tinker blinking in, Tinker rocketing. Is he going to kill the Zeus? He's trying to. He's trying to. No, he's not going to be able to swap going on into the Zeus. Tinker did manage. Didn't manage to rearm here. Is uh, but Bandit does pick up a kill there, and as well as the fact that Sony picked up a kill. Bounty Hunter using a regen rune. He's regening life so quickly. He's going to go back. Is he going to go? Yes, he is going to go back for this Doxy. He's going to go. Is he going to get able to get picking off? He hits him down, but Doxy, Doxy just pops his surge and he's going to be able to run away. No, he goes back. Why are you going back? Just run. Just run. That Bounty Hunter will triple hit you. Go back and defend your base. Bounty, uh, Doxy, go back and defend your base. Oh, but there is support from this Phantom Lord. So <laughs> Tinker's then Tinker. TP Blink. Such an annoyance. Such a nuisance. Phantom Lord's are running out of there. He's not really hitting hard enough at the moment, buddy, to kill anyone. Geometry site being dropped by Rexar. Rexar probably just bought another one wherever he is. Rexar, where are you? Is Rexar still dead? So Rexar didn't buy back. Rexar and Mania didn't buy back. Rexar is simply going to probably buy another Gemini when he comes back to life here. Rexar coming back to life. And is he going to buy a gem? Is he going to buy a gem? Saving games being saved here. No, he doesn't buy a gem. Okay. Um, so no gem being bought, maybe they're just going to try and take the gem off the, off the Phantom Lance instead. So let's look at the other reasons why BP has failed, back to my original thing before there was that, that cool team fight that went on. The reasons that you failed is that Crystal Maiden has, if, if I'm not correct, she's leveled, yeah, she's only got three levels of brilliance or aura for the first thing. Secondly, she didn't level, she leveled one level of her, um, Frostbite rather than her Frost Nova. So she's only got a 2 second disable, uh, like a 1.75 second disable instead of like a 3 second disable. That makes a huge deal and she's leveled her AoE damage Frost instead. So not great play here by Legendary. I don't agree with the skill world instead. You wanted that, as I said, Crystal Maiden's your only disable on your team. <laughs> you really want her to max the disable as much as possible. Also what we see is this Vicious didn't get nearly enough levels and nearly enough farm. Having power trades and a Ring of Basilius <laughs> That's not going to make you an effective tank like you need it to be. So in his lane, that Visage didn't get enough farm, didn't get enough farm to make him effective in killing the Bounty Hunter, or in terms of being able to tank up. In terms of MYM, what we saw is that the tri lane was much more effective, so I'm just scouting out the base here while I'm talking, was much more effective in picking off the Darkseer on regular, regular occasions. We saw... Vengeful Spirit roaming from bottom, roam, roaming to mid, roaming to bot uh, bottom again, picking off the docks here, picking off Baby Knight three or four times in a row. And Sentinel, so so MIM's tri lane, uh, docks are going to go down here. So Sentinel's tri lane was super, super effective in terms of t getting picking up kills as well as, as well as winning your tri lane and pushing your tri lane. The tri lane in terms of... Uh, Scourge, you have three nukes. You have a Crystal Maiden, you have a Visage, and you have this Phantom Lancer all sitting with three nukes, and yet they didn't get a single kill off against Mania. Uh, sorry, against Missy. Now, yes, that might that might be the fact that Missy has, in fact, played really well and used his GG while play being called. I'm going to pause the game there, which might mean the fact that, you know, Missy played really well and used his invis to the full, full effect, but we did see invis wards being put here, put down by the tri of BP. So why are you not getting kills against that against that bounty hunter? That is a really good question because he doesn't gain extra bonus move speed from his from his windwalk. He has finally picked up his desolator. That just makes him a wicked weapon that makes him wicked sick. Forty three for twenty three. Really quite some pub stomping going on here by by M I M. Just su superior player by them. So if your tri lane isn't getting kills and allows this bounty to heart, bounty hunter to farm up, and if your tri lane isn't getting kills. Why <coughs> isn't getting kills against Bounty Hunter? Why do you still need to leave your Crystal Maiden and your Visage in the lane when bottom is getting pushed, mid's getting pushed? 
Why isn't your Crystal Maiden leaving the lane? Why isn't your Visage leaving the lane? Supporting the Zeus mid here, stopping this mid tower getting taken, pushing back this Rexar, taking out that Rexar. You know, Crystal Maiden, Visage, Zeus nukes is super, super effective as well and will definitely take down a Rexar. Why aren't you leaving your lane? If you're not killing the Bounty Hunter, leave your lane. Help out your mid lane, help you take out Zeus. Why aren't you doing that? That was one of the problems as well um, for, for BP. Not only the leveling of the skills by Crystal Maiden, but also because of the way that they roamed the map. That was quite an issue. And lastly, I'd like to say that this Darkseer solo against against the Tinker is really a bad idea. If you have a Darkseer solo against a Tinker, what is going to happen is that Darkseer, like we saw in this game, Bandit is going 2 for 10. 2 for 10 on your solo bot lane hero against a Tinker, that's not what you want. Because if you're going 2 for 10 as that solo hero, all it means is that Tinker got super farmed, got your boots of travel in 7, 8 minutes or whatever it was. I think it was about 8 minutes. And once Tinker's got his boots of travel, basically becomes a free farming hero, roaming all on the map, getting kills. And your the whole point of getting Darkseer in, in a game like this is is to be able to get up farm to be able to become a late game hero. And if he can't become a late game hero because he's getting nuked down, well then that lane has failed and simply all he's doing is feeding a Tinker. And Tinker, you can't allow to get this farmed because he's just gonna simply tear you to shreds, especially when he's five or six higher level higher levels than everyone else in your team, so everyone else in t in BP. So that wasn't well done at all, and I didn't really agree with that. Uh, all that play by Bandit. Maybe Bandit isn't to blame, but as I said, I haven't really ap uh, appreciated his play. I didn't think it was super, super professional. Am I fraps lagging out here? I didn't think I didn't think his play was super, super professional or anything like that. So didn't quite agree with that, and I'm not sure what you guys thought of his play. But really, will struggle against a Tinker as as a dark as, as a, D a dark seer bot, and really doesn't offer much help in terms of trying to pull off AoE ganks. Darkseer not a good pick in my best opinion. You pick a Darkseer when you want a huge AoE team trying to pull off Earthshaker, Enigma, um, Venge uh, Crystal Maiden and Nevermore ultis, not for a Zeus and a Darkseer. That's not the best pick of him as well. So maybe, maybe there was a bit of issue in terms of picks and maybe, you know, maybe that, maybe that was the reason why the lanes failed as hard as they did. But Really good play by MYM, picking up four staffs all over the map. Four staff, one of my favorite items. Ring of Basilius's bottles being used in the correct heroes. We do see Tinker eventually picking up a bottle, but like I said, he left it early game so that his bounty hunter and so that your that demon can use use the bottles to the fullest effect. That was great play by them. And so yeah. I say goodbye to you here. I hope this game was better than my last. Maybe a bit long winded in parts. I really did try and discuss a lot of more strategy during the game than I usually do. At the same time, I'm still trying to cover some of the epic, epic team fights that went down. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys learn a lot from it. Um, as I said, um, please just leave comments about the about the commentary when whenever you want to. It's really for my benefit as well as yours that you leave comments. I get better at commentaries, which means you get better commentaries, which means means that everyone at the end of the day is, is, is a happier person. I don't want to deliver you guys crap, crappy commentaries, and I don't think you guys want to listen to crappy commentaries. So, please help me out in that regard. And yeah, GG, well played MOM. MOM really winning this battle, winning this sort of crusade <laughs> against BP, if I'd like to call it that. And some super epic play by all the heroes in MOM. Really an unstoppable force at the moment. And maybe I'll stop becoming a fanboy of MIM once again. Thanks, guys. Cheers.